my name is Elizabeth Joy, also known as the Joyan, and today I'm going to be sharing my handbag collection with you guys. I have a pretty wide range of bags, so I think that there is something that everybody will like here. I have everything from it bags to luxury to super affordable to vintage and one of a kind pieces. So I'm super excited to start sharing my purses and handbags with y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and share my classic coach bag first. I literally haven't touched this bag for a minute. It's just been being stored, but I wanted to share this one first because this is out of all my bags I'm sharing today, the one that I have held on to for the longest. Um, she could definitely use a good leather polish. I actually have the leather polish. I just haven't gotten around to it because I honestly don't carry this bag very much. However, I still think that I'm gonna keep her forever because the classic coach bags, I think will never ever go out of style. You can carry her with the top handle or with this crossbody strap, which comes off pretty easily. These bags literally last forever. So I highly recommend like getting one if you get the chance to. This one is vintage. It's probably from the 80s or 90s, I believe. There's like dust from this bag. I don't have a dust bag for this, so it's getting dust everywhere. This shows the importance of using a dust bag. But yeah, if you get a chance to get one of these, especially if you find a good deal on one, I highly recommend getting them. They usually go for, I think about like 70 to $80 on Etsy or just at other vintage stores if you buy the vintage version or if you get the ones that Coach is coming out with now that have this classic leather look. I believe they're probably like 200, 300 range. I'm not positive, but I recommend it because it's literally a bag that Will last you forever and never go out of style. I used to have a brown one of these and I've had a couple other styles of black ones. Some of the other ones I sold, but this is the one that I've chosen to hold on to. The brown one, I have no idea what happened to it. I had the brown one before I had this one and I loved it. It was like a light brown or like maybe a cognac, cognac. But I've moved so many times since I had that bag and I don't know what it is, but it's like every time you move, you just lose stuff for no reason. I don't know. So I don't know what happened to that one. This is just, yeah, this will always be my baby. I'll probably give it to my baby when I'm older. Next up, I want this one next because this is my everyday bag that I carry everywhere every day with me. Obviously this is a Telfar, the small shopping tote. These bags have become so popular and so hard to get your hands on. I'm not gonna go too much into like the brand history or anything like that or how I secured this bag because I do have another video where I unbox some Telfar bags. So I will go ahead and stick it in one of these corners up here if you want to hear more about the Telfar and have a little bit more detail about that. And I do have a dust bag for this. I don't know where it is. Again, this is my everyday bag, so I'm carrying this one with me almost every day. So I don't need to store it a lot right now because I've just been loving this. And I love too, like this one is so versatile in the black and it's small, so it's not too heavy for me to carry around, but I can still fit a good amount in it. Again, if you want to see what I can fit in it, go ahead and watch that Telfar review video inside I'm just gonna include this in this little collection because this is kind of like a handbag to me this is my card holder this is the YSL card holder it's super small I purposely chose one that was super small because I had a bag even smaller than this that I needed to be able to fit a wallet in this is just like a really good quality and it's just like chic and for me you don't have to have a luxury wallet or card holder it's by no means like a requirement for life but for me I just felt like once I got one I don't know how to explain it. I just kind of felt like I had arrived because you're taking out your wallet all the time. I used to work in sales years ago at Nordstrom. So I would see people's wallets all the time when I'm ringing them up. And I just think like having a really nice wallet or card holder is the way to go. This one was under $300, which is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like for it being, there is so much dust from that coach bag. It's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> It's a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like for YSL, it's not a lot. And it is a really sturdy leather. I've had this for a couple years now and I just know that this is gonna last me probably a lifetime. Those are my only black bags, but since we're in the neutrals, now I'm gonna jump to white bag. Remember I said I was gonna have affordable options. So this one I literally got from Shein. It does have a string that needs to be cut off. I think I paid like $13 for this. Maybe I paid $9, maybe I paid $16. I don't remember, but for sure under 20 bucks. And you know, I didn't have with the price, like a lot of hope for this, but it's actually pretty sturdy. I've carried this out with me a number of times. To me, this is a bag that I use for going out or for an event. If I have a certain type of outfit that just needs this type of little statement e piece, then I will go to this bag and I'm surprised how well it's hold up. If you guys know about the brand the Shrimps and the Shrimp handbags, I'll try to pop in a picture of a Shrimps handbag. I kind of feel like this is a dupe for the Shrimps bag, but yeah, I just think this is so 
so cute. My two year old also thinks that this is her purse. So I usually keep it up. I think it's because of the size. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with this little Shein bag. I literally went and took a little break and got some water. I feel like my throat was getting clogged from the dust from that coach bag. But it looks like most of the dust has cleared out so we can continue with this. And this is just my sign to keep better care of my things. So while we're doing white bags, I also wanna show you guys this super cute little one. Like I love this handle detail with the scrunch handle. And this one is faux leather. This is an affordable handbag. I'm not sure the price off top. This is actually from a black owned boutique. I believe it's called Code 53. I will leave their website below. Like I said, I don't remember how much it cost. It was for sure under $100. I think it might've even been under 50. I love this top handle. This again is a bag that I use like going out or to an event because it's just a little bit too small for me to use as an everyday bag. It's a little bit smaller than the small Telfar. Here's a comparison for size. And it also has this crossbody strap. I personally don't really use the crossbody strap on this just because I don't really like such a thin style. Style. Like I like it in theory, but I don't like how the bags hang on me being a curvier girl Like I just feel like I like a sturdier strap if I'm gonna do a crossbody But you can either leave these both on so if I were to do it as a crossbody I would probably still leave the scrunchy one hanging because I really like it But you can take them off. So if I'm using this, I'm gonna take it off I'm not just gonna tuck it in but just to make it easier to store I just have them both clipped onto the side of the bag next I'm gonna show you my Gucci marmal Marmont Gucci Marmont don't come for me Gucci but this one I just want to show you guys because this is a really important bag for me it is like the velvet style instead of the leather it retails for a pretty penny but I'll let you guys look it up. You can look up this bag if you wanna see how much it retails because I don't want anyone to come for me in the comments. But this is a bag that I bought before I had my daughter. I honestly haven't really bought very many luxury items since I had a kid. And this was also like the first designer purchase that I made as far as handbags go. Handbags and shoes are a lot pricier than designer clothing even and harder to find like amazing deals on. There is the real real, but it's a little bit harder. So this was like kind of my first designer piece and I paid for it with my own money. And it was just like this really like big moment for me because I kind of felt like I had arrived. I don't know how to explain it. It is, however, you can see it's a missing two of the beads on the love. I believe I could probably see if I can get it repaired. Like bring it to the Gucci store, but I just haven't. I don't know why I should. And then it has like the GG and the embroidery. Oh, apparently I got coins in here. I don't know why I have coins. It has this too, so you can hook your keys on. You can actually take this off. I don't know if it's like bad to show my serial number, but you can take these sides of these chains off and then it is silk on the inside and then the sides are like leather. The chain on this is like so heavy duty. I think just because this was like my first real luxury purchase, this bag will always have a special place in my heart. I used to wear it everywhere. I don't wear it as much anymore. This is actually the reason that I got the YSL card holder because I couldn't fit my original wallet was like almost the size. I think this might even be what you call a wallet on a chain. I had to get something that I could be in there because I probably bought this before I could really afford it, but I really wanted it at the time, but I didn't want to like open up my purse and just have like my cards and my cash floating loose. Yeah, this was probably like my favorite purchase. Next, I'm gonna share this vintage MCM bag because I bought this around the same time that I got the Gucci bag, I think a couple months after, just because I realized that A, it rains a lot in Seattle, so I didn't necessarily wanna wear a velvet bag everywhere. And I just kinda like, I don't know, I went through a phase where it's like, I have one bag, now I want two, but I really love this. Like I used to carry this everywhere. Like before I got my Telfars, this was my everyday bag. You can carry it like like this on the handles which is cute when you're going out out to dinner out with friends or if you have like an outfit and you just need to do it but it also has the strap for the crossbody option which is obviously like super convenient for everyday wear despite how small it looks this bag is super super roomy and it has it's like organized like it has all these different compartments so it's 
super, super organized. It has the zip pocket as well. And then my maintenance guide is literally falling apart at the seams. And then I do have like my authenticity card. This really needs to be cleaned up. Um, I'm pretty sure like I spilled formula on it when my kid was a little tiny tot. And then it has this stain back here. I don't know if this stain can come out. This stain is from a $2 lip gloss exploded in my purse and spilled all over. So if you have a really nice purse and some really cheap lip gloss or really just any lip gloss, put that lip gloss in a bag before you stick it in your purse just in case. Like it never hurts to be too cautious. You don't want to be like me. But anyway, like I love this little MCM bag. I still love this. I'm probably going to keep this forever. Since we're on reds, this is just a fun vintage bag that I have, another vintage one. This one is by Guess, so it's super Y2K, super 90s. You know how the Y2K is super in right now. This, I believe this is faux leather. Like, I don't think Guess used real leather on their bag. It feels faux. I mean, with the price, that I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I remember it was not a lot. So I think that it's probably a faux leather. Um, but this is just like really cute for like that Y2K. And you know, like, was it last summer, the summer before, all the girls were wearing these little bags like this on Instagram and... The girl that I am, I wanted to do it too. It was so trendy. Yeah, just like the very 90s Y2K. I still love this bag. I don't wear it too often. Honestly, this is something that like if I have a certain fit, either a really kind of out there, more Y2K style dress, or it looks good with baggy jean and like a t-shirt for every day. But yeah, this is my guest bag. Another Telfar. This is also the biggest bag in my collection, which is ironic because in what year was it? I don't remember what year it was. I think it was like high school, maybe middle school. I think I was in middle school when like Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton, they were both that girl. I think it was Nicole Richie used to wear really big bags. All the celebrities had this one really huge bag with like tassels and pockets and like the big hobo bags were in, like big bags were in. And I used to exclusively carry big bags. And then at one point in life, I think around like 2015, I switched over to mini bags. Maybe it was even later. But I switched over to mini bags and I never looked back a day in my life until last winter when I decided I needed this Telfar bag. This is the medium size. And I got this with the idea that it could be like an overnight bag or almost a carry-on. But I think I would actually need a large bag to be my carry-on. This one does work for overnight. But if it's more than one night, I'm, I'm gonna need to buy the large one because I have a lot of stuff. It's actually full of stuff right now because I kind of switch usually between my two Telfars for every day. So if I'm going somewhere with my kid, she's a little bit older now to where I don't need to bring like a whole diaper bag, but I do like to bring a change of clothes for her just in case anything happens and like maybe some snacks and stuff like that. So I've actually been using my Telfar as a mom bag, which is kind of ironic, but I'm a cool mom. Anyway, so yeah, I just like this one. I don't even know why I chose the green. I just couldn't decide which color to choose because I bought it at the Secure Your Bag program and this is the one I got. This one is also gone over in my Telfar unboxing video. So head over there if you want more details on this. So in that same bag family, finally one that I have a dust bag for, first of all. This bag is a brand called Oriani. It's a Korean brand and it comes with both like this regular strap and then the guitar style strap. This is like a half moon. This one is genuine leather and I have money in here. I have a couple dollars in here. I'm finding money I didn't know I had. But it's like a medium sized bag. It does feature this extra zipper compartment on the back. I'll like insert a picture of me wearing it. I honestly don't wear this one too often. I'm not really sure why I like it, but I don't really ever wear her. Um, I believe these retail for 200 or 300. I will go ahead and link one below because these are still available. They come in a bunch of colors. Like it's a very, very high quality bag. The stitching is all perfectly even. Like it's, it's a nice bag and it's a nice bag. This this almost reminds me of the old Marc Jacobs bags. So yeah, it's a nice bag. I don't know why I don't use it more, but I did want to show you guys because it's kind of like a different color and it's also, it's leather, it's like a hard leather. So you can see it really keeps its shape. It's not floppy. I love this handbag so much. I pretty much only wear it in the summer unless I have an outfit that it really hits for just because I feel like it's such a summer bag. I originally got it with the idea that it would be a vacation bag, but I haven't vacationed anywhere tropical since I got it. This is a vintage bag by by the sack. It's made in the Philippines actually. And I have a little candy wrapper in here, strap wrapper or something. But here's the inside. Now this is like hard. 
It's hard and structured, which I love. I have no idea what this retails for. I don't think it's, it's definitely not expensive. It's not like a luxury bag, but I don't think it's like as cheap as like the Shein, but I really do like this bag and yeah it's just like it's the colors for me i love it i wish that i wore it more but i don't know something about it just feels summer only to me let me know what you think below and then last but not least is this cute little beaded bag since we're in the realm of vintage bags i probably could have included this with the whites but i don't really consider it a white this is actually handmade in hong kong here's like the interior this to me is a bag for pretty much for nights out unless i have like an outfit outfit it needs it this is like the type of bag that i would wear too with more of like how do i describe the aesthetic of the outfit like white boots white hats and pastels vintage like very 90s y2k but like not the same y2k as the guest bag maybe more 90s like clueless type style more like preppy like meredith on the parent trap or princess diana but i really just love this bag but yeah i really just love like the quality of this bag and i like it too because it's like nobody else has this so i like being exclusive I don't know about you. That pretty much wraps up my handbag collection. I do have a few more bags, but not any that I like enough that I felt like they were notable enough to show you guys. However, hopefully like a year or two from now, I have enough new handbags that I can do another video like this for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and comment below and tell me what your favorite bag is in my closet and tell me what your favorite bag is in yours too. Bye.